we got our new kit here sitting on the ground the trucks just pulling out looks long in there to XL never did an XL before well I'm just gonna pick it up sit it on my trailer over there and then I can take it down to the shop pretty fun I'm Steve Henry with Wild West Aircraft, and uh, we're dealers for the Just Aircraft Highlanders and Super Stoles. And I'm just starting myself a brand new Highlander here. I haven't built one for a couple years, so I figured it was about time I built another one. I had a few reasons for wanting to do it. Um, we just pretty much finished the 2021 season. I got in every competition I could pretty much, and. Uh, did, did well. We won the National Stole Series in the light sport category and also overall over everybody in all the classes too. So really couldn't have gone any better. Uh, as far as the stole drag racing, that went really well too, but I come up just a little bit short against Toby Ashley with his uh, Carbon Cub with his uh, Kawasaki jet ski engine. It's, it's a hot rod. And, and my Yamaha Epexes are pretty hot rod too, but uh, he just barely edged me out. It was like two, best two out of three at Reno and also at High Sierra. So I gotta step it up. That's just how racing is. So that's part of what this is here. Although I had planned this months and months ago. I mean, you kind of have to when you order a kit, like right now, if you order a new Highlander kit, it's a 15 month lead time. So you kind of got to plan ahead a little bit. And I just figured months ago it was time that I built a new one. I wanted to make one that's maybe a little bit more competition oriented. My The plane that I race all the time, compete in all the time, really it's my everyday airplane. People like to say it's highly modified and, and it, it's modified, but anybody could build one like that. Uh, this one here, I guess anybody could build one like this too, but I'm paying more attention to keeping it light and uh, should have considerably more horsepower too. But it's the probably the biggest difference in this one is it's the XL fuselage so it's two feet longer and Just Aircraft makes them that way for the Highlander or the Super Stole either one so you can put like the Continent the Titan 0340 that yeah, that's probably the most common one that people put that requires the longer fuselage well my yamahas they're turbocharged and all they're they're a little bit heavier you know than than a 912 or something like that you don't really need the long fuselage i just kind of wanted to try it I, I do wind up running a little lead in my tail most of the time because part of this competing is stopping fast and with little lead in the tail i can you know keep that tail lower and stay on the brakes harder so with a longer fuselage i think i can probably offset the, the frame weighs 14 pounds more than the standard frame so it's not that much and i might be able to leave that much lead off the back and not gain any weight even though it's longer and a little heavier oh uh, just trying to think of some of the specifics i'm doing on that one i i do plan on putting uh shock monster gear legs and shock struts uh the super stole tail wheel assembly the with the swing arm and, and the shock monster shock and then with a tundra light tail wheel that's what i have now on my plane now and it's it it just works great um, both of my last two hollanders that i actually won a uh, lindy at oshkosh on them part of that's the fabric work well they were covered in oratex and i really like it i, I like the oratex and i'm absolutely going oratex again on this one it's nice to work with I, I like how it turns out. I like how easy it is to fix if you get a hole in it. Um, so yeah, going with Ortex. One of the competitions I do each year is Oshkosh. And uh, they, they run us almost into the darkness. It, it does get dark on us. 
and I've noticed that some of the guys, you know, have these landing lights that are really bright. Well, this year I'm going to have a couple on there too. I'm going to have some Aero LED. They have some really cool multi, you know, the strobe, the whole deal on the wingtips, and then some some really awesome landing lights. So even though it's a competition airplane, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a little bit of lights on here. I think this Aero LEDs are gonna be slick. I'm gonna put them on my other airplane too. I plan on keeping Yeehaw 6. This is gonna be more of a competition plane. All right, I know that a lot of people are wondering, that a lot of people are asking me, what am I gonna do for an engine on this new airplane? And this is what we're starting out with, is a Yamaha Sidewinder. So it's a brand new 2021 turbocharged engine. They're about 200 horsepower from the factory. Uh, so it was turboed by Yamaha to start with, unlike the Apex that was naturally aspirated and then aftermarket we got it turbocharged. Mine's gonna come all apart and you know, it's getting all new stuff inside too because I gotta race Toby Ashley and you know, Jason Boussat, Butch Kingston, Tim Shellhorn, who knows who else. And these guys are building some hot rod airplanes and it's kind of getting where 300 horsepower isn't going to be enough anymore. So yeah, we're going for more than that. One thing that we're working on with these two is getting it set up to run this motor just like it is. Because I think this 200 horse turbo Yamaha is going to be a fantastic engine for a lot of people and their Highlanders and Superstolts and other airplanes too. But you know, they're not that heavy. They're, they're, they're a little bit lighter than the Apex. Um, but turbo from the factory 200 horsepower in a Highlander, you'd think you was flying a little rocket. No, you're not gonna win the gold class in stole drag with it. You just can't do that. But anything else, you, I think a guy would be just happy as could be. I've been really happy with my Edge Performance Apex engines. I mean, it's the most fun I ever had flying with anything. It had a lot of success with you know, the short takeoff and landings and, and the stall drag and everything I've been doing with it, it's been working great. But me being me, I like trying new things too. And I know there's a lot of interest in these three cylinder Yamahas and we're gonna, we're gonna give one a try and see what we can do with that in this airplane. A quick build wings looks like from Just Aircraft. So they have a big jig and they put the spars and ribs and the drag links all together in the jig. And I've done it where I just, actually I made my own ribs and everything one time and boy, I'll tell you what, for 850 bucks, this put together in the jig, it's a, it's a bargain. It's a good deal. Um, they also set the wings to the fuselage so the lift strut attached brackets are pinned on here. Just one Clico, that's all you need, but that's where they go. And the end of the wings where it pins onto the airframe, they have that drill too. That's all part of it. They'll take this set of wings, that fuselage, and them lift struts, and set that all up. So when people get it, they're not wondering how much dihedral and wash out or any of that stuff. It's They set it at the factory and it takes the guesswork out. When I build one of these airplanes, one of the very first things that I like to do is get the airframe about this height and where the head rack is nice and level. Um, you can do so much work on it like this. You don't want it on a rotator yet. You want it, you want it pretty solid, you know, you're doing a lot of the work at this point. And then later on, when, you, when I go to setting the wings on here too, it's all level. So like if I swing a wing halfway back, it'll stay there. It doesn't want to swing back. Usually it's just a little stand about this height, maybe just a little bit shorter. There's no wheels on it, but I, I had this deal here and I thought, you know, I think I'll make that the same kind of thing, but just on wheels. And uh, so far it's working out really well. The, the other part to go with it, you have to have something under the tail here. And I just made this little guy that bolts on there. So I can move it around and it's, it's great. I'm, I'm liking it a lot. I like it even better than, I like having the wheels. But with wheels or without wheels, make you stand like this and you can get so much work done.